Do you know that you can make money in gooseberry farming? Join me, Mukulima Bila Jembe, as I interact with Madam Jackie Mronji from Kakamega County, Ikolomani Sub County, and learn a lot. Welcome. You can have a drink. Thank you. Karibu. Asante. Karibu so, to Mizizi Farm. But this is Mizizi Farm. This is Mizizi Farm. Maybe your name. My name is Jacqueline Muronji Masi. I am from uh, Kakamega County, mm. Ikolomani Sub County, in Bale Village. I am a farmer and I got interested in uh, doing go gooseberries. Gooseberries, why I got interested in doing gooseberries is because I have a diabetic mom and uh, she also suffers from high blood pressure. So gooseberries helps her a lot. We can eat gooseberries raw mm. or you add value to it. You can either blend juice, you can either make jam, or even uh, just as a fruit, you can enjoy them whole. So that's why I planted gooseberries. And uh, secondly, you can even have gooseberries as your uh, uh, a way of uh, getting uh, making a living mm. and uh, you get fans mm. so you can uh, live on gooseberries because they are high or high value and they're very expensive mm. when you take gooseberries to the market uh, not all can afford to buy the gooseberries mm. though you can package in small quantities mm. to make other farmers or other people who are not able to get the high quality to go for the small quantities mm. So you pack them that way. And then uh, another thing is that gooseberries are usually, that, like the leaves, they are also of value. Not only the fruit, but also the leaves. And uh, you can use the leaves as a tea. You make green tea from that. And you have, you enjoy that with, uh, let's say, when you have a cold, mm. you can use it as medicinal. Mm. And you can use the leaves as vegetables too. They're mm. just like managu because they fall under the same family. That's how you can eat, consume goose, berries, and the leaves. The, the issue of uh, production, starting from uh, planting and the management, mm -hmm. uh, as compared to any other crop, uh, how do we go about production of uh, gooseberry? Okay, when it comes to production, what you do is like, uh, you'll see how we get the seed from blending the juice. The seed when you're blending, the, they don't crush. The seed doesn't crush. So, you can get the whole seeds, then you prepare your own seeds, or you could even buy from Calro. The seeds are gotten from the extract of juice. So from the juice, you get those seeds, and then you wash them, after you get the juice itself, you set it aside and get the seeds. You you don't air them in the sunlight. Put it at them in uh, room temperature, and then uh, you can also, as you monitor, you go on uh, crushing them to get fine seeds. Not the seeds should not attach to each other. After that, you could just make your seed bed, a small seed bed because they actually multiply a lot. If you go for one teaspoon, you'll have a lot of plants from the, the one teaspoon. So you just make that and uh, sprinkle the whatever, the seeds on, the, on that bed, and then cover lightly. You don't, at times you don't even cover them. You just leave them. When it rains or when you're watering, they will just go. Well, the seed Maybe, uh, do you have any difference between seed bed and nursery bed? Uh, kindly make me clear <laughs> because uh, there is somebody who is watching us, yes, and uh, there is a very big difference between a seed bed and a nursery bed in a business. Mm, I would say it's a seed bed because uh, you won't you won't raise them there. You're going to transplant these seed the seedlings when they are ready. You'll plant, transplant them to. A nursery bed. So that is a nursery. Yes. Yeah, we call it nursery bed because uh, that is the where we nurse. Mm -hmm. And uh, after maybe a few times, uh, maybe after one month or 
45 days mm -hmm. we transplant them to sure. the bed yeah that is now <laughs> i think now you <laughs> need to you. know that thank you very yeah, much now we can proceed yeah. <laughs> so after 45 days you can transplant uh is it 45 days yeah 45 days you could transplant them to your own farm where you want to raise your your gooseberry after some time after three months you'll see you'll okay maybe you'll uh, i'll take you back after transplanting you need to be very careful with them because you'll uh, have spacing of uh, two by two the hole has to go two two feet down and two feet wide and from there from each uh plant to the other it's also two meters so that's how we plant the gooseberry and then after they get uh they are ready to to start uh flowering you will undergo some difficulties maybe white flies or something like that but you'll use pesticides i prefer to go organic because of the nutrients value when i when you use organic uh, uh, supplements you will get pure uh, gooseberries and then they won't uh, disappoint you when it comes to the nutrients I used uh, rabbit uh, urine and droppings for manure uh, for the droppings it's uh, the way I planted you put them in the holes as you plant but the, for the urine you use it you use it as a pesticide control the white flies and so on and then I used also real IPM products to manage the, the crop so after you harvest uh, after you you are ready to harvest your gooseberries it depends on how you're going to manage them you will get big 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 uh, fruits if you manage them well but uh, when you don't get take care of the plants you will get very tiny uh, fruits so when they are ready you'll see the cover turning yellow and to from green to yellow when they are yellowing then you know they are ready if you don't harvest them on time they will disappoint also they will start shorting so you time them when they are they are yellow that's when you pluck them to, to consume or to but you add something to for your benefits so what I do is uh, pluck them when they're yellow and then I peel the off the covers and then I wash. After washing, you drain the water. All you need for blending juice is just a blender as usual in the homes. Or if you don't have a blender, you could even crush them using a muko and a jug. You just ponder, ponder them and then you add some water. I prefer using uh, honey because that is a uh, natural sweetener. So you just use honey to sweeten your juice and uh, you're good to go. But uh, sugar, sugar makes the, the juice to go stale very fast. You could store the, the one that used with juice, using uh, honey better than the one used with using sugar. So that's why I use honey mostly. And secondly, my mother doesn't take sugar, so we prefer honey. Honey is what goes very well with her. And then you just need, after you blended your gooseberries and the honey plus some water, depending on the how much you want to make. It is just uh, maybe half half the, the jug of uh, the blender and half the water. So you just put it to the, to the, the, to the mark. And then you start you're good to go to blend your juice after blending the juice you need to sieve it is very important to sieve that juice because that is where you're going to get another gooseberry seed that's how we got we get the gooseberry seed and uh, you dry it you don't dry it in the sun if you dry it in the sun you're going to lose the value the germination will be low but if you just put it in the house on a clean plate or a clean uh, tray, they will dry and you will harvest your seeds very clearly. That seed, after I missed a 
part after after you blended it the seed you wash you thoroughly wash it to extract that uh, honey and the previous gooseberry so you just get the pure seed after washing it you are good to go you air it and you have your seed to plant for the next gooseberry okay i would encourage many farmers to grow gooseberries because of the nutritional value in it because you find uh, we have several nutrition value in uh, gooseberry like uh, vitamins A, B, C and then we have protein in it we have also have phosphorus in that it has very many advantages to many uh, sicknesses like let's say diabetes uh, high blood pressure it also controls cancer so uh, it's it, 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 it's it's something that uh, is of good value to our bodies so i advise many people to go into gooseberry planting and you will find that you are doing something good for people Thank you for watching us. You can also reach us on 07 03 45 45 70 07 03 45 45 70 Mkulima Bila Jembe Kilimo Mashinani